there are Russian S-400s amid Turkey's chances of returning to the F-35 program. Lockheed Martin lost a supplier of low-cost, high-quality F-35 parts, as well as operators of new fighter jets that would pay for years of maintenance. Anchor lost even more, the contract with Lockheed Martin, the fifth-generation fighter jet, the deteriorating relationship with Washington. But during this period, 2019 to 2023, Turkey has made it clear that even if it suffers losses, it will not rely on foreign weapons technology. Washington's decision had an effect. Germany, France and Great Britain gradually began to withdraw from some projects with Turkey. Various fields are affected, missile production, engines, design, and import of components and parts. Ankara is starting to find a way back for all the loopholes, improving techniques and production at the local level, producing weapon systems on par with foreign ones and finding new suppliers and partners in Asia. When Turkey needed air defense to ensure national security, the Hisar SAM system was already in the process of development, design and testing. Ankara is turning to Washington for its bid for the American Patriot Air Defense System. The US has no reason not to send it, but the price is not right for the Turkish government. The possibility of the Russian S-400 air defense system as a second option has emerged. As it happened, Moscow provided very good conditions, which were fulfilled after Anchor ordered, paid for and acquired the S-400. However, Ankara has not stopped developing the Hisar family of anti-aircraft missile systems. So, at the end of 2022, Turkey managed to test the last member of the Hisar family, Cyper. The missile intercepted targets at a distance of 100 kilometers. This is what opens new doors and opportunities for Turkey to return to the F-35 program. Cyper is Turkey's version of a long-range anti-aircraft missile system. Its range is 150 kilometers according to generally available information. A successful test at the end of 2022 means there will be at least two more tests in the middle of 2023. If it passes as the first, serial production of the Sipper will begin in late 2023, which is Turkey's plan. Turkey, the media compared the Sipper to the S-400. According to local publications, the Turkish air defense system is similar to the Russian S-400. At this point, it's hard to say whether Cyper can compete with the S-400, as there are very few dates to compare. First of all, Russia claims that their system has a range of 400 kilometers. The Turkish company Aselsan has made great strides in the development of radar systems. Currently, every Turkish organizational system that requires radar scanning uses Aselsan products. Turkey even upgraded the Western weapons systems in its inventory with the Aselsan radar including the F-16 fighter jet. He. We can assume, without knowing for sure, that Cyper has a better radar than the Russian one integrated into the S-400. Cyper SAM is an opportunity for Ankara to be invited back into the F-35 program. Without needing the Russian S-400, Cyper can guarantee the protection of critical infrastructure sites and areas, which is what Ankara has wanted from the start. If SEPA replaces the S-400 operationally, Washington could open new doors for Ankara. Dr. Thomas Whittington, and other experts in electronic warfare and air defense echo this view. Using the SIPER instead of the S-400 domestically could be a way to get Washington's good books back and perhaps reactivate the acquisition of the F-35, he added.